This is a portrait of my grandfather. It's a drawing based on a photograph taken of him as he was waiting to board a bus that would take him to the Topaz internment camp for Americans of Japanese descent in Delta, Utah. The photo was taken by famed photographer Dorothea Lang, who along with Ansel Adams, worked for the War Relocation Authority to document the forced evacuation of Japanese Americans from the west coast of the United States. She was documenting in San Francisco at the beginning of the internment and took three photographs of my father, grandfather, and grandmother. In 1942, after the U.S. entered World War II following the attack on Pearl Harbor, 112,000 Japanese Americans were separated by race and interred in 10 concentration camps across the country. Among those, 60% were American-born citizens and the rest were first-generation Japanese, unable by law to get citizenship. Dorothea Lang's photos depicted her contrary point of view and were hidden away in the National Archive until 2006 when they were released to the public. I use words as my mark to render my grandfather. In this case, the words I am using are the text from Executive Order 9066, which was an executive order signed by FDR that established military areas, excluding those of Japanese descent, and establishing the internment camps away from the West Coast. In this series of portraits, I portray individuals as the embodiment of strength and pride standing in the face of oppression by a power against them. I research and reference texts from government documents and use the words to render each person with the document that affects them. Using the word as a building block does not label or define the subject by the words being used. Instead, they are blended together and transformed from a label to a broader gesture that is used to define a new visual standard of vitality and beauty.